Old Diamond! What is it? Do you like my new outfit? Cameron's Cameron Burr made it for me. Nice outfit. <laughs> How did you and Candace become friends? I told her that I have a crush on you, and she gave me this awesome outfit. I gave her Candace's phone number, and that's how it all began. Well, you're lucky to have her as a friend because that outfit totally fits your personality. Thank you so much, Diamond. You've made me feel so happy. Okay, come on. We have a show to do. That's right. Play the theme song, please. Jokes about Candace Cameron Beret, you tell them on this show. That's right. And now, two people who will be dating because of Candace Cameron Beret, Diamond Kinnear and Miss Becky. Hey, we made it. This is Joke Chowder, a chowder filled with jokes that starts off hot but then cools off by the end. Hi, I'm Diamond Kinnear. And uh, Miss Becky, we have a great show for you this morning. I hope so. This morning, we're going to see who has the best Candace Cameron Beret joke. You'll think we'll find it? I don't know, but I do know that Grace Stevenson is first. What does he have in store for us this time? He has a joke about Candace Cameron Beret and Lori Loughlin. How quickly did we forget about them working together, hmm? Before ending Fuller House last year, Candace Cameron Beer got a letter from Lori Loughlin congratulating her on a successful run. Interesting, especially since she tried to run away from her consequences. Greg, I find you guilty of telling a bad joke. In the meantime, I find you guilty of making me lose my mind. <sighs> anyway, here's Dave Passions with a poem about Candace probably bringing back Fuller House for another season. <sighs> Here we go. Fuller House was supposed to end last year, but Candace Cameron Beer made one thing clear. She wants to do season six in a flash, and I know why. She only wants the cash. Wait, isn't Candace doing those weird commercials with a shark? Yeah? Why? Aha! Uh -huh, that's what I thought. Candace wants to do something that will pay her more than just four dollars a shoot. Now it's time to see what Joey Headphones has in store for us because he has our chowder of the week. So Candace Cameron Bure wants to do another season of Fuller House after getting a letter from Lloyd Laughlin, huh? Well, here's a message for her. Crime doesn't pay, and after a while, neither does nostalgia. Joey is absolutely correct. Of course, some reboots did better than others, while some did so well that they've actually been parodied. Stop, we're getting a fourth wall, Diamond! Sorry, but it's the truth. Anyway, what did you think about the jokes, Miss Becky? Uh, they were okay. But in all honesty, I wasn't paying too much attention to the jokes. Why? I was too busy looking into your eyes. Do you seriously love me? Don't tell, vigilante baby. Come here and kiss me. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Anyway, I want to wish Ellie Kungi Mueller a happy birthday weekend. Thanks for giving us the job, boss. Have a great birthday on Sunday. She's Miss Becky, I'm Don Moncanier, and this has been Joke Chowder. Now, if you excuse us, we're gonna go on a breakfast date. See ya! Happy birthday, Mr. Mueller! Toodles! This has been Joe Chowder. Now back to weekly updates, Candace Cameron Beret Spectacular. Then stay tuned for wherever else you will be able to find between now and when weekly update ends. That's all coming up next on Nick at Night. Do you think that Mr. Mueller would like this shoe for his birthday? Greg, he can't have one shoe without the other. Neither can Candace Cameron Brew. Joe Calder received its power from Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios Florida. Thank you so much, Diamond. You may... you've... <sighs> wait.
Let me try and get 